What is the length of CE? The first given information that we get is that AE is parallel to CD. If you look at this picture, we got a transversal AD and a transversal that cuts through two parallel lines, you know that the alternating interior angles are congruent. Second important information is that we got two lines that intersect at B and we got ourselves vertical angles, meaning those two are going to be congruent. Then we can say that these two triangles are similar and we're ready to set up a proportion. In the small triangle, if I put five above, that corresponds with the length that's 10. Let's call CB X and X is going to correspond with 8. Cross multiply and solve I get 40 equals 10 X divide by 10 and I get my X which equals 4. But we're not trying to find X we got to find C through E. So the last part all we got to do is add up X which equals 4 and add it to BE which equals 8. 4 plus 8 equals 12. Throw a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.